back to the Leopold Kelly Road Show with a brand new episode and we have an incredible transfer budget, almost 400 million pounds but with the sale of Pat Sandaka and other players we will have uh, more than 400 million pounds in the transfer budget so let me know in the comments below who should be signed in the January transfer do, do you want the dream Kylian Mbappe to be signed? I think because he's still Salah and Mane and Firmino and Haaland are all in their prime especially Salah and Mane are not, are not declining yet I think signing Mbappe would be a little bit premature but let me know if you if many of you guys want me to sign Mbappe maybe maybe we could do it and we are top of the Premier League but if we want to keep that run going we need to be the likes of Sheffield United who of course will have our former player Josef Martinez in their team and of course because it's the Christmas period we have to rotate the team because we are playing every three days so in comes Ryan Brewster who plays against his former club so it's the strikers battle between Martinez and Brewster and playing against their former side welcome to Anfield it's a glorious day and I'm really really looking forward to this we are on a good run and especially after the that previous game make sure to watch the previous episode if you haven't already there was an eight goal thriller in the last game and of course if you still enjoy this Liverpool career mode please leave a like and let me know in the comments below where are you watching from which country are you watching from? Wilson, Salah, Haaland, and Brewster! Oh, on the volley, Ryan Brewster, that was spectacular. What a start that would have been to score a goal like that. And Fakir! He hits the post, Nabil Fakir. So unlucky. Oh my goodness. Brewster. Salah. Oh, Salah is in and Mo Salah! Mo Salah! The king of Egypt! It's already 1 0. What a brilliant start that is to this game. Fabulous. Salah scored a similar goal in the previous game. He peels away from the defender and then, of course, he finds the back of the net. And we need Salah to get more goals. He was the top scorer, I think, in season one and season two. But since then, it has been Haaland last season, and this season is Jota who is our top scorer. And it's Josef Martinez, the player that we exchanged for Ryan Brewster. Let's hope that Do Martinez don't score. What a free kick by Martinez. Oh my goodness, our former player almost scored an absolute banger. Look at Onana. What a save. Oh no. Oh my goodness, Alario equalizes. How did he put that in past Onana? That was, is a quite brilliant goal. And Sheffield are back level. I just cannot stop these goals where it's a simple through ball, first time finish, and the goalkeepers always concede in this instance. Ah, Onana was so close to that. Henderson. And Fakir! Oh, Nabi Fakir. Go on, Henderson. And Salah, please Salah, come on. Oh, Mo Salah, oh, it's a foul, I think, but maybe the defender got the ball and Salah is injured. No, Mo Salah, just when he is back in form, scoring goals in back-to-back -back games, I think, he gets injured. I was about to shoot with Salah, he gets slight tackled, the defender maybe gets the ball and Salah gets injured. That is really, really annoying and really unfortunate. Let's bring on Mane, uh, no, let's bring on Jota is a little bit fresher than Salah, uh, sorry, than Mane, uh, I, I mean he's in more in form, Jota is our top scorer, look at this, oh that is an absolutely incredible challenge, no wonder Salah got injured, there was so much force in that, I, I'm not sure if that's legal, you know, in today's game, because uh, it was a reckless challenge, it was out of control, it was endangering the opponent, and usually those are penalty and red card, Jota, Haaland, and Brewster against his former team, Ryan Brewster! Let's not celebrate because against his former side, I don't want to be disrespectful, but Ryan Brewster, it's 2-1 Liverpool against his former side, that is brilliant. It was written in the stars, but Evans has it. Go on. Go on. Wilson! 
Oh, please, Brewster! It's another goal, and this time I have to celebrate because Ryan Brewster scoring two goals against his former club is just really, really special. He's back at Liverpool, back among the goals. So happy for him. It's a shame that we sold Brewster, but for 23 million, it was a deal that you just couldn't turn down. And now he's that in the championship, I expect him to really score a bucket load of goals. He already knows that league and I expect him to fire Sheffield United back into the Premier League. Oh, Nabi Keita. Oh, what a tackle. That was spectacular defending. Oh, don't concede here. Unreal. In the 91st minute, Sheffield United get another goal. It's Burke, their striker, striker came on as a sub, really good build up play, that is a fantastic pass and what a finish that is, damn! What a win, another thrilling game, five goals and Ryan Brewster was the star with two goals against his former club. And I think the scoreline probably reflects how the game went, we actually played on the counter attack because we let the Sheffield United keep the ball. The big worry is Mohamed Salah, I really hope he doesn't have a long term like seven or four month injury Brewster was the man of the match Haaland Wilson uh, got an assist Salah scored and then got injured that is a worry so we are top of the league by two points and the big news is that Leicester who were second lost to Manchester United so now they slip down to fifth place Arsenal are still uh, are move up to second place Chelsea are third they all won their games the only big team that didn't win in this round is Manchester City so they slip down to eighth place and what has happened to Man City this season it's really staggering that they just cannot keep up with the top team I mean Everton and Leicester being above Man City that's almost unheard of and the bad news is that Mohamed Salah broke his metatarsal he will be out for two months that's not ideal but we have enough good forward players uh, in his place our next game is our first game in the FA Cup and I'm playing my second team Brewster starts again Hopefully you can add to those two goals. Abuni, this is a big game for him. Patsovaka is on his way to Real Madrid, so I decided to start Abuni. And Harvey Elliott completes the forward line. Curtis Jones is still out injured. And Larucci, it has been confirmed yesterday that he transferred to Troyes. But I still want to keep developing him because in this career mode we can still have fun developing Larucci into a really, really good left back. Welcome to our first FA Cup game against Forest Green Rovers. I think they are in League 2, so the 4th division, we absolutely have to win this. Keita. Avoni! Come on, Avoni! His shot is saved. Yes, Kabak. And the counter is on. Let's see. Avoni. 2. Harry Elliott. And Wilson is in! Harry Wilson! Come on, Harry! He has to score! Bang! Harry Wilson! It's a lovely finish! A beautiful counter attack! And the Welsh Wizard scores a really nice goal. He's off to Fulham in real life uh, for 12 million pounds. His transfer has been completed. So let me know guys, do you want me to sell the players that Liverpool sold in real life? Or do you want to live out this fantasy which I really like that? I think Harry Wilson could have become a big star at Liverpool if we already didn't have a stacked squad. But in this career mode I'm making him a world class player and he is contributing really nicely. Abonee. Oh, he's nice trickery. And Elliot! Harvey Elliot! He has done it! Harvey Elliot scores as well! Oh, that is a wonderful goal! And then he goes out to the chef, uh, sorry, the Forest Green fans and does this. The Mbappe celebration. I love it. Harvey Elliott, another young player with a chance to shine in the FA Cup. And he has done exactly that. Really nice finish by Harvey Elliott. Love that. Nice. And Brewster is not offside. And Ryan Brewster goes in and he scores as well. He's Goalkeeper is just not very good, is he? Let's do the Samba celebration. Brewster now has three goals in two games. Lovely stuff. Of course, it's against the lower league opposition, but still, that is a wonderful finish. Okay. Oh, Wanana. Okay. Wow. The Suma. Harvey Elliott. Oh, look at the passing. I absolutely love it. 
Agony to Harvey Elliott. Wilson to back to Elliott. Oh, love that! Please, yes! Oh my goodness! That is a wonderful goal! Oh my word, Harvey Elliott! Take a bow, son. Oh man, I feel a little bit sorry for Forest Green Rovers, but uh, the look at this, that is just unreal. The composure, the finish, everything about this goal, the build-up play, it's mesmerizing. Beautiful stuff. No. Onana. Ooh. Yes, Bissuma, wonderful. And Harvey Elliott, what a strike. He is on a hat trick, this kid. And he is hungry for goals. Look at how close that is. That was almost another spectacular goal. Oh boy, Harvey Elliott picked up a knock, which is a real shame. And let's bring on Diogo Jota as well for Brewster. And you know what? Uh, let's give Ogilvy a farewell appearance. Let's see if we can score a goal. Avoni, please! Taivo Avoni, what a save! Okay, Nabi Keita with the corner. Diogo, Jota. Avoni, hold it up. Oh, Avoni! Everybody is backing off him! Oh. Please, Mane! Come on, Mane! It wasn't offside! Oh, what a mistake. And Ogilvy, please! Ogilvy! Oh. Oh, he almost scored a nice goal. No. Kabak Onana saves it. The second half we couldn't get any more goals, but it wasn't for a lack of trying because we absolutely peppered the Forest Green goal. Elliot was scintillating in this one and I'm so happy for Harry Wilson who finally got a goal as well. And we kept a clean sheet against the League 2 side, that's, that's expected. Brewster also has two goals in three games now. So the young players are brilliant. Harvey Elliott was the man of the match. He got two assists as well as two goals. Wow! He was involved in everything, all four goals. Harvey Elliott, what a player he's going to be for Liverpool. So Man United at Chelsea all went through and let's see Leicester also went through. Uh, Tottenham knocked out Swansea but Arsenal are out against Everton. That's good news for us, one big team left in the FA Cup and we await for the replay results and after that we'll find out who do we get. Thankfully Harvey Elliott's injury is not uh, serious, he's only out for five days with a shoulder injury and Ogilvy is out on loan to Norwich and Daka is out on loan to Real Madrid and they have an option to buy him for 47 million I think that's a really good deal so let me know who should we sign in the January transfer window our opponent in the League Cup semi-finals is Burnley who are in the championship at the moment they are in third place Nottingham Forest are in first place with a big big lead that's a little bit of a surprise that Norwich for example are only in mid-table in the championship and Burnley have a pretty incredible team for a championship side. I'm, I'm really surprised that they are only in third place, but there is still a long way to go in the championship. So I'm feeling my second team because we have a game in three days time and also there is a second leg in the League Cup. I want to give the young players a chance. So Wilson, Avoni and Brewster will be our front line. Let's go. We're starting to get down to the nitty gritty. Just four teams left in the Carabao Cup and the stage is set for an absorbing semi-final. Welcome to the League Cup. Cup semi-finals against Burnley there is not every season that you play against the second division side in the League Cup semi-finals so we are heavy favorites but I think we are playing the second team that evens things out a little bit Bissouma come on Bissouma get the ball Kamara yes Matip Oh, no way. I can't believe it. Dalvez, the Brazilian striker, already gets Burnley up and running. He's, it's one near Burnley. That was a fantastic fake shot and then an inch-perfect pass. And by the time I slide in with, I think it's Kabak, it's too late already. Surely not. Oh, it ain't the bar. Oh my word. Wow, Burnley were almost tuning up. We have to be very careful here. What is going on? Onana has to make a world-class save. Burnley are absolutely under... They put on their goal under siege. Wilson. Go on, Wilson. Please, Avonim! Oh, what a play. What a save. 
No way. How is it so wide open? Gala fell in the 45th minute plus extra time. Gala fell makes it 2 near Burnley and we are in big, big trouble. With our second team, we are getting hammered away at Burnley and this is not good. I mean, look at how open Gala fell is. Oh wow, our whole defense was transitioning to the other side and you cannot leave the best attacker of Burnley that one in that much space I'm making three substitutions Cunha, Mane and Jota are all coming on because our our strike force just wasn't good enough in the first half so we are bringing on the big guns Salah is still injured yes Jota oh no oh okay Burnley go on Bissouma Bissouma is in and Bissouma scores let's get the ball it's a lucky goal because the defender's clearance gets a ricochet off Bissouma and he, he gets the ball somehow and then he scores and Bissouma's first goal is a really really important one in this League Cup semi-final first leg. Will he lay it off? Ihanacho Matip, good clearance. Delafeu, don't, don't let him shoot! What on earth are you doing? Oh my goodness gracious me, the defending is just atrocious. It's a lower league that's level defending. I mean, Delafeu gets the ball. I was just frantically switching players to get closer to Delafeu and by the time I could get there, he unleashes a rocket. Redmond. Redmond goes in. What? No way! It's Brass White, the Barcelona striker who is not playing at Burnley somehow. And I can't believe it. It's four. How on earth is this happening? Again, Brass White is wide open in the middle. Larucci loses an aerial battle. And between Onana and Ozan Kabak, he finds the back of the net. And I need uh, to score one or two goals and very quickly. Mane, come on Mane. Go on Mane. And what is Matip doing there? And Nabil Fekir! What a goal! Oh my goodness, come on! Get the ball! Get it, get the ball, Fekir! What a goal by Nabil Fekir! It's a lifeline! It's still 4 2, it still looks awful, the result. But at least we score a banger. We have a chance in the second leg. Because if we win by two goals, I think it's extra time. And uh, Matip, what was he doing up there? But what a finish by, Ma by Nabil Fekir. Absolute world class goal. And that was. That's what was missing, apart from the great defending, is an individual brilliance by one of our star players. Really? No way. Oh my goodness, you cannot tell me it's five. You cannot tell me it's five to Burnley. We are getting embarrassed, demolished, disgraceful defending. I hold my hands up, it's my fault. I just I just lost my composure because I'm always chasing the result. I mean chasing goals, trying to get the ball back quickly. Normally I'm more, a little bit more composed defensively, but also Burnley's finishing today. Wow, it's on another level. And maybe I have underestimated Burnley because they are in the championship. I honestly didn't know they had such a great team. That's why I selected my second team. I thought that they, they had a a pretty average team otherwise why would they be can somebody tell me how on earth is this Burnley team third in the championship when they just hammered our second team 5-2 honestly I I didn't expect this I underestimated Burnley I didn't think they would have such a great team and we were thoroughly beaten I can't have any complaints defensively we were all over the place but also Burnley had some amazing finishing and defensively this team with LaRucci and Mekovic on either side of the wings uh, was just not good enough. Uh, the, I, mean, I can't believe that uh, we got we got so many injuries. Harry Wilson broke his toe and he will be out for three months. So now we definitely need to sign an attacking player. Otherwise, uh, we will suffer the consequences. Uh, we just have too many injuries. Uh, Salah out for two months, Wilson out for three months. It's just the latest. It's absolutely embarrassing. Man City are 2-1 up against Crystal Palace. But at Anfield, if there is a team, 
team who can come back from a free goal deficit, it's Liverpool. Remember Barcelona in the Champions League semi-finals a few years ago. So I, I still have hope that I can make the League Cup final. But losing 5-2 to Burnley is really disgraceful, honestly. If you enjoy these, leave a like and have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Goodbye.